Today we have a Whirlpool dryer that doesn't spin the drum and just makes a loud noise. Seems like maybe the belt fell off, so we're gonna open up the machine and check it out. Unplug it. Take the lint screen out. And unscrew these two screws right here. Number two Phillips head. Next, we're going to Pull this top lid forward and lift up, tilt it back. Yep, belt fell off. So, you're going to separate the door switch connector and you take a 5 16 nut driver and you get the screw here and here. Once you've got that done, on this front panel, just pull back, up, and away. Since we have no belt, pull the drum right out. All it was was a broken belt. So just replace it. So I just went out to Lowe's and they have belts for these particular dryers. Fit most 29 inch wide Whirlpool dryers. And they take a 92 and a quarter inch belt. Uh, only about 11 bucks before tax. So we're gonna check the belt guide real quick. There's a little bit of wear on it, but still usable. Look at the motor. Doesn't look like there's, the shaft isn't bent. Time to get it back together. We have the barrel in, and I'm just gonna show you how to get the belt back on. Just let it rest like that and once we put the front panel back on is when the drummer will be able to raise up and clear from the guide. So once you have the front panel back on, screw back in, clip your, your door, door switch connector back in. Annually rotate the drum to make sure the belt's lined up. It's not askew and gonna fall off the motor pulley. This is straight, so we're ready to clamp it back down, start it up. Okay, start it back up. Problem solved. Just a belt, guys.